we always hope that you as a mom, the yeah. pregnancy, you're okay, you yeah. carry the baby to term, mm. yeah. but we rarely think about having a special needs child. The pain was so intense, mm. and I was walking along the corridors. Mm. I have rolled my, the maternity robe. Maka ukuju, twisted it and tucked it <laughs> in. <laughs> and <laughs> Maki, down here, I was naked. Aki, I relate. And I did not care. But I then I left my dignity, you the maternity <laughs> ward. <laughs> you know. I did not care. Welcome to another episode of Motherhood Stories. Um, thank you for showing us so much love and um, appreciation on the previous episode featuring Sharon Obara. And in case you missed that one, please make sure you click up here to watch that episode. Now, it is the hope of every pregnant woman to carry their baby to term. And not only that, to have a healthy, bouncing baby at the end of pregnancy. Most women will actually do all the necessary checks, take all the prenatal vitamins, just to ensure, we go a long, long way just to ensure that you come out of pregnancy with a healthy, bouncing baby. And my guest was no exception to that rule. But only that at the end of the pregnancy and after delivery she noticed that her baby was different in today's story we are going to talk about motherhood when you have a baby with down syndrome so without further ado i will ask my guest to introduce herself and let us in on her journey on motherhood in this episode karibu please feel free to introduce yourself to my guests <laughs> hi thank you so much maggie um, my name is juliet Gitau. I'm a wife and a mom of one. Um, I'm employed, I'm an administrator, but professionally I'm in HR and I'm a business owner of um, Uzazi Clothing, which was started because of my journey in motherhood. Wow, I did not know your second name is Gitao. <laughs> Yeah, if you have watched my breastfeeding video, I featured a very uh, beautiful breastfeeding dress. I'll link up that video here from Uzazi Clothing, which is her brand. She has amazing outfits for breastfeeding moms, so please free, feel free to check it out after this video. Yeah, thank, thank you so much for that thank introduction. You. So, um, Juliet, I met you under very interesting circumstances. Yes. I actually met her when she was... Uh, delivering a PR package yeah. after, just after I had posted my first motherhood stories. Mm -hmm. And you challenged me, you should feature a mom with, a, what was the word you used? Special needs. With a special needs yeah. child. And I was like, oh, yeah, I never thought of that. Do you know any mom? Then you said you after, no, you didn't say immediately actually, yeah, but yeah. after different conversations of me telling you I've interacted with babies in, with special needs musically, then mm -hmm. you told me about your story, which was very eye-opening in that conversation. We really, really bonded. So thank you so much for accepting to bring the audience into your mm -hmm. personal journey. Mm -hmm. So uh, before we start, maybe can you give us a brief, background of how your pregnancy journey was with your baby well um i'd say my pregnancy was what a gynecologist will say that your pregnancy is low risk mm -hmm. so basically basically my pregnancy was smooth the normal cravings and uh, fatigue and how old were you i was Chill. How, how, many, how, how many years back is it? It's two years. Two He's years two. Ago. How old were you? Two yeah, years, two years ago. ago. Two years ago. Uh, when you were pregnant, you were 20. 20. God. 26 months. I can forget your age and you become yeah, your mom. 24. You were 24. Yeah. You were young. Yeah. Wow. 24. <laughs> you are what I'd say. Yeah. You were young. Yeah, I was. Oh, I was. Okay. Uh -huh. I was. Uh -huh. Then the usual challenges you go through when 
you're pregnant. Mm. Pregnancy, Maggie, pregnancy humbles you. You gained. It humbles <laughs> you. You gained a nose. Hey, my nose was for hey, <laughs> millions of Kenyans. But <laughs> you are nosy. But, yeah, and that time by the way, you wouldn't tell me that you have a big nose. Ah, because I never used to see it. I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Pregnant, but now I'm it. like, eh, hey, who's this? <laughs> you look at my photos. Who's this? You never see. Anyway, and uh -huh. remove. Anyway, so yeah, my pregnancy was basically smooth. Mm. I obviously went for the regular um, antenatal clinic checkups mm. and um, took my supplements. Mm. So, like when you say you went for the clinics, mm -hmm. first trimester, second trimester, and you did the ultrasounds. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we did the ultrasounds and nothing alarming popped, mm, mm. nothing, the heartbeat, everything was, was okay, the growth, everything, literally everything was fine. Mm. And um, there's a test, I don't know the name of the test, but mm. there's a test we did, um, I think it's about 20 weeks or so. Yeah, the 20 weeks. The 20 week test for very... Down syndrome. You did a test? Yeah, I did, and I passed. Which test is this? Like, the, the, is it invasive? No, it's not. It was... It was, it was an ultrasound, they were measuring the, I don't know the Oh, the name. way they measure the body, the body, the, the yeah, everything. especially the... It's um, like a 3D the, scan. I think it was the distance of the neck, neck or something. Uh -huh. Yeah, because that determines a lot. Uh. So I passed, and I remember having a conversation with my gynecologist at that time, and I was like, no, what happens if you have a child with Downs? What happens? Uh. Like, yeah, it happens, but it's okay. It's, it's, it's you, there are mothers who choose to terminate the pregnancy, the mother who chose to go through it. Then I remember telling him, wow, I can't even imagine what I'd do. Ha. Mm. Yeah. So you actually did that intensive 20 weeks? Yes, That's, I did. I find it very scary yes. until they confirm everything is okay. So uh -huh. you're like, Phew. Exactly. I was, I was like, hey, thank God, yeah. like, I've, I've passed that. Yeah. yeah. So you and continued all the way to what week? Um, I... I, my my son was born at on, at the fortieth week. Actually, <laughs> the exact <laughs> the exa yes the exact um EDD date uh, that was when I had my labor. Uh, wow. Yeah. So it, my pregnancy was smooth. Like, yeah. and you know, honestly, you know, um, most of the time we always hope that your pregnancy, you as a mom, the mm. pregnancy, you are okay, you mm. carry the baby to term, mm. and um, you you we never think about oh still but we never think about okay actually most of the time we're thinking about miscarriage and thinking still about birth. carrying the baby to term yeah. but we rarely think about having a special needs child that's true because that's to be true. honest yeah. that was the list list of the things in my mind when you were giving birth when i was giving birth and also you know learning biology back in high school yeah. they you're told that mostly down syndrome comes like after 35 years, women of 35 years, mm. probability is high. Mm. So at 24, um, it's not I'm in like, your mind. Yeah, it's I'm far not, away yeah. from 35. <laughs> it's interesting, you know that. It, is it something that was in your knowledge before you gave birth? Like, you did you know so much about Down syndrome I before? I did, before because um, in, in, in my master's class, just before I deferred, I, we were doing a presentation that was um monthly masters in um, psychology yeah. so we had a unit about um the autism the spectrum mm -hmm. the adhd and downs and all that and i remember presenting about it wow <laughs> yeah and i remember and i remember um people asking me questions about downs but i was like um okay um i'm gonna i don't know anybody who downs so i might not be able to answer that question but I will look into it. Mm. Little did I know that God was telling me, hmm, don't worry, you're going to know that person soon. And you were pregnant. And, and yes, I was pregnant. I was in my first oh, trimester. Wow. I was pregnant. So I knew. I knew about down. I knew. I knew, yeah. That's interesting. So you carry the pregnancy to term. Tell me about a little bit about your birth experience when um, you get into labor at your 40. 40th week then what how, how was your birth of course i was scared because of what you hear about labor mm -hmm. was it painful for you <laughs> <laughs> nothing can ever prepare you for labor <laughs> nothing can prepare you for labor let me tell you maggie mm -hmm. <laughs> let me tell you for me i was home my husband was at work mm -hmm. so of course um i i had like those two signs of like yeah but then you're, you're almost going into labor mm -hmm. 
So I went, I called the doctor, went to the clinic, and the doctor checked. He was like, hey, by the way, you've started laboring. Mm. You're 13 centimeters. Dilated? Yes. You're three, three, no, three sorry, centimeters. Three centimeters. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I, I, he told me, now I need you to go and get admitted. I said, okay. I called my husband and told him, now I'm going to be admitted because mm. da, 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 this, this, and that. So I went... And I was okay. Funny enough, I wasn't, it was just coming like to sharp pain mm. and then it goes. Like cramps. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And you know me, um, when I was a baby girl, before I became a mom, <laughs> when I was baby girling, yeah. I had very bad cramps to oh. the point that I would feel so much pain and I would pass out. Ooh. Yeah, or I would go to hospital and get the wow. injection, the painkillers. Uh -huh. So I'd hear people say, um, labor is basically like... Mm. You know, like cramp. I'm like, okay, been there, done that. Yeah, you've gone through the process. Yeah, I've gone through the process. <laughs> yeah. So, um, um, fortunately for me, my labor progressed so fast. Because mm -hmm. I was admitted around 8. By 11, I had dilated PM. PMs. 8 p.m. Oh, at night? Yes, at night. Huh? Yes, at night. Uh -huh. um, so, by 11 p.m., I had dilated to 7 centimeters. Three what hours. Prayers did you make? Three hours. I know. <laughs> see me. Hours. See me. <laughs> oh, we too. We are too I know. <laughs> so three hours, uh, but um, within those um, the seven centimeters, mm. and I remember, I remember telling my husband, I think, huh, this is what people call labor. Come on, labor. Then people are exaggerating. <laughs> Maggie, I wish people told me labor has stages. <laughs> you, eh? you didn't research that. No, one? no, I didn't know because. I, I knew, I knew it had stages, mm. but like from the beginning, um, when I started feeling the sharp pain and the going, there was a time I was just feeling it. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling the pain. I'm just relaxed. You wouldn't mm. know I'm in pain. Mm. The second stage, I was just... Constant. Yes. Constant. Grabbing things yeah. and, you know, <laughs> but I was not making any sound. Mm. That mm. That, and I was, that time I was lying on the bed. Wow. So I was just lying on my left side and mm. grasping the hold, bed. Yes, you uh, hold the bed. <laughs> The pain comes to like, mm. and you know, <laughs> then stage three. <laughs> you kitanda haikaliki. You kitanda haikaliki. You stood. Yeah, I stood and I'm massaging my back and I'm asking the nurse for painkiller and she's telling me she brought something for inhaling. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, the night. I don't know what it's called. The, Is it the nitrogen? Gas. I'm what the, the name laughing of, gas. The la nitrogen. Nitrogen. Yes. I think so. So she's telling me breathe in. I'm like, I can't even breathe. How do I breathe and I'm in pain? How do you I get to tired? Oh, oh, how do you, you do that? Tired. You <laughs> get actually tired. get tired of I know, breathing. and I started walking around with the drip and she was putting the that thing they used to um, measure the heartbeat of the child. Mm. And I was like, this thing is making me feel pain. Like, mm. everything is making you feel yeah. pain. Yeah, yeah. And then now stage four. <sighs> I was walking along the corridors, like the pain was... Because now at seven centimeters, that's when my water broke. Oh. And that's now, pain that yes, now that is where the pain was. Yes. My, cause the pain intervals were literally like um, um, four, four minutes, four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. I'm like, oh God, what's this? Mm. And I remember, I remember I used to say, okay, God, just one minute, mm. one minute, I breathe in. Because I was feeling the pain was so intense. Mm. And I was walking along the corridors. Mm. I have rolled my, the maternity robe. Mbaka ukuju. Twisted it and tucked it like in. And Matthew, down here, I was naked. Aki, I relate. And I did not care. But I, I left my dignity in the maternity <laughs> ward. You know, I did but not care. But that is so dramatic. How do you tie it? Like a For real, I, it was tucked like in here. And I remember my husband trying to untuck. I'm like, leave me alone. It was over here. And I was walking and I was walking. I was like, oh God, what is this? Yeah. I was naked. Literally, <laughs> and I didn't care by the way. You never and I remember, care. Yeah, and I remember there's a time I, I wanted to use the bathroom. Then I asked myself, Do I have time to go to the bathroom? Maggie, I peed there. I peed on myself there. Like, I was like, I'm done. I'm done. But anyway, fast forward because um, the doctor kept, kept checking if mm. I had dilated further. But for three hours, I hadn't moved. Mm. So, and my baby had pooped. Uh huh. So he was like, hey, now mm. you can't, we can't keep you any longer. Mm. We need you to go to the delivery room. And I was okay. I was like, hey, Sawa. I got off the bed and I started walking. And the nurse is like, Connie, where are you going? 
but the doctor said you're going to the delivery room. What are you waiting for? I said, no, wait for the stretcher. Did I tell you I can't walk? Tell the doctor we meet there. <laughs> I was done. I was done, done, done. But anyway, yeah, so the stretcher came and yeah, we had the emergency section. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is around like night time now in the That's middle around of the night. That's around 3, 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You really stayed on yeah, one. 3 a.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you're being rushed first, like where's your mental state at that time? Like personally, I think I was just like, I want the pain to be over <laughs> and I want everything to be. I was tired. I wanted yeah, it to I want be out. over. You, where was your like mental state? I want state? out. <laughs> you want to I want finish. Out. Yeah. Like, let's do this. Because, yeah. because I, I really wanted a, um, a, a vaginal bath. Mm. Oh, but you, you? I really would, want, uh, yeah, I really wanted that. Mm. And I was so, so ready to. To, to push mm. yeah but ugh, when the pain was too much yeah, and i'm yeah. being told the baby has pooped i'm not progressing i'm like mm. cool we move mm. we move i just wanted the baby out what was your experience like once the you were you were awake during the procedure no you you were put under yeah yeah I oh. wasn't, I wasn't, so I wasn't at awake. what point then do you wake up and see your baby after the operation in the same room or uh, no i okay no actually I, was I under? I come to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, was I, I under? Memory no, just okay, I know, I, no, I, I, but I, I can't remember anything. Mm. What do you remember? What, what, when is the first I can't time remember you saw seeing your baby? anything. I just, no, I actually remember zoning out mm. after I was because given someone the, usually zones in and out sometimes after kinds of fatigue, nini. Yeah, because mm. the um, I zoned out mm. when I came back. I was just shown my baby. In the same briefly. room? Yeah, briefly. And I can't even room. remember. The, I don't even have... I, I could not even, like, point out, like, how this baby looks. Mm. It was... My mind was... I don't know. I don't know. I think it's the drugs or something. It's a lot. It's hormones. It's, a lot. it's yeah, I, I Like, yeah. For, personally, I expected that, like, magical experience. Of, no. Uh, but I just remember being saying, Margaret, here is your baby. <laughs> then I opened it. I was like, okay. <laughs> then it's like I passed out passed again. Out. It's like you're in and out. Mm -hmm. Was that the same, like, for you? Yeah, I actually had them call my name. Uh, yeah, because they keep them call calling, calling you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had yeah. them call my name, but mm. honestly, I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't have a clear memory of... Mm. I can't recall seeing my baby at he. Okay, it wasn't magical. Let mm. me say that. <laughs> it wasn't. If you, that's the question. Uh, it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, yeah. So, when do you meet your baby? Like, what, what's your first memory in the hospital? When is this the time you see, hey, this is my baby? Um, at, um, once the drugs wear off, yeah, like the wear same off. day? Yeah, yeah mm. same day. Mm. But in the ward. But in the ward. Mm. Um, I think um, I remember when the nurse came in because mm. my husband had been had been shown the baby. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when the when when the nurse walked in, I asked her, "Oh, so how is the baby? Where's my baby?" Because my husband showed me the photo. I'm like, mm. "Oh my God, where's the baby?" Mm. I was so excited. So the nurse told me, "Um, your baby's in another room. If when you want to see him, I'll be like." Then I asked her. Oh, can I, can I, you can bring him, you can bring me, I can see him, because I, I might not be able to walk. Mm. She said, um, no, we can't bring him, you need to go and see him. He never rang a bell. I was like, oh, okay, because I was the first time, mom, I didn't know you don't know baby is next to you. Or you <laughs> yeah. I was okay, I'm like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. you know. So, um. You went to see him? Um, uh, no, not that time, because they needed me to walk. Walk. Yeah, they, they needed walk. me to walk. <laughs> But later in the day, mm. I, I went to see him. And I remember walking through um, the door. It was written NICU, Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. Mm. It, never, it never rang a bell, interestingly. I walked in, I'm like, ah, oh. my man, I'm like, in nursery too. Mm. You know, I, I was so clueless. <laughs> yeah. I'm so clueless. You're, that you're the not connecting. In my mind. Yeah, yeah. So um, I walked in and I saw my baby and how I was so excited. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, ah, nafana babake. Ah, nafana nini, you know. Mm. So, um, but I, I, I saw him, I'm like, but why is he sleeping like this? Because um, he, his head was lying back. You know, mm -hmm. like, yeah. A so, bit too back. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So I was like, ah. Maybe because position, fresh position, you know. Maybe mm. that's how I remember even joking. So, you know, <laughs> but yeah, and you know, every and I kept on going to see him. And every time I'm going, his head is like that. So, he started bothering me. I'm like, yeah. and I was getting mad, like, why are the nurses making him sleep like this? Mm. And I started looking at the babies there, mm. 
some are even born, um, my, my, my son was older than them, but mm. they're just sleeping upright. Mm. Oh, I get So I'm like, when was the problem? Mm. It became an issue. I'm like, hi, kidogo, kidogo, you go there. Um, he had tubes. Yeah, he has tubes all over him. I'm like, what's tubes? No for? one is explaining anything no. to you? No. So I asked one of the nurses over there, so what's the tube for? Um, oxygen. He's an oxygen. Why is he an oxygen? The doctor will come and see you. That's when I'm like, okay. What do you mean the doctor will come and see me? So I'm like, ah, okay. Then I thought, because I had read stories about um, when, like when your baby poops mm. in the tummy, Mm. And they inhale that meconia or yes. something. Yes, yes. Mm. I have I have read that. Mm. So it's like it's probably too late yeah, to probably that I'm like, oh, but it's okay. It's 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 not a big deal. Mm. But you mentioned your husband saw him first. Did he know why? No, no. No one tells no, you. No. This is day. What? No, you know, you know. Actually, Maggie, we were told about our son diagnosis. Um, the third day. Day three in hospital. Yeah. The third day, yeah. The was third it, day. were you told now, was this doctor unavailable to explain? No, or the, no, this doctor the doctor was actually. No, there? I was always seeing the doctor there, the pediatrician. I was always seeing her there. And I was so, I was really, I'm a very inquisitive person. Mm -hmm. So I used to ask the nurse, why is this baby sleeping like this? Why is this baby doing like this? Why, you mm. know, I kept on asking that. And then he also had jaundice. And jaundice, you know, it's yeah. common with newborns. Yeah. So um, the next day I'm going to see him, I'm seeing his oxygen levels are at about. They were low. I'm seeing it's 95, but now that, that, that time he is on oxygen. It's 95. Then remember that another time I had gone to see him and they just adjusted the oxygen level on my face. I'm like, it started making that sound for T, T, T. Then they just adjusted the oxygen level on my face. With I'm no like, explanation. All this time I didn't know. I'm, I'm like, why is he on oxygen? So now the pediatrician came to see me, I was in the baby breastfeeding. I was in the, nurse, in the, in the room mm. breastfeeding the baby. And I see you. So the pediatrician comes and starts telling me about the baby. How are you doing? Do you have breast milk? And you know the way they press, press your boobs to mm. see if you have milk. Mm. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. So the, the three days you were breastfeeding? I was. The, there was a time I could move with him. Mm. But there was a time I was constrained to that, that point because yeah. of the of the tubes mm. of the tubes oxygen and da, 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 and all that mm. um so when she came the pediatrician came yes when mm. the pediatrician came mm. she she talked yeah she asked me about myself my well-being and all that then she i was with my husband and we were talking about the way he has nice hair you know and all that mm. and then um she's like so um, I can never forget her. Anyway, mm. so she You had not met her before then? No, no, no. It, it was actually an in-house pediatrician. Oh, the okay. gynecologist is the one I came with. Oh, okay. So, um, she goes like, so as you can see, your baby, he, he's, 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 he's okay, mm. but we can see the space in between his eyes are big. We can see the space between the big toe. The big toe mm, and the, the, the next the, and the toe? next mm. yeah it's, it's it's big and um um it appears that he has low muscle tone i'm like okay so where is she heading mm. then she's like so um you know um so your baby um had down syndrome so you have a special needs child that was how she told her the news and that time i was breastfeeding my baby i have a cs wound i went number and she goes ahead and tells us um, you can Google, you can Google and, 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 and see some of the features. And I asked myself, if I needed to use Google, I would have used Google to give birth. Mm. We wouldn't need doctors. Why would a whole doctor give me a diagnosis and tell me to go and Google? Like she didn't continue further with that conversation? No, no, no. Like even me, I'm she feeling didn't. cool. I don't want to imagine how you felt in that situation. She didn't. And, and to date, if I think of that, I get so pissed. Yeah. My issue, yes, my, you know, today, if you ask me the toughest part of the journey, I'd tell you the first day. Because how they told yes, you? I felt like she lacked empathy. Mm -hmm. Really, the least you can give is empathy. Mm. Already the news is not good. Mm. So, you know, at least yeah. some empathy. Yeah. And, and I remember my husband walked out mm -hmm. and left me there. I'm just seated holding my baby. I even stopped breastfeeding him. I'm looking at him. 
No, I'm you're like, trying to connect I'm what she has connect. said. I'm looking at the space between his eyes. I'm looking at his toes. I'm looking at him. I'm like, what is this doctor telling me? Mm. And by the way, after she gave her that news, she left. Wow. Yeah, like she left me there. In her, was it her office or it's still no, at the Nico? In the, yeah, in the Nico. Yes. I was wow. just next to my baby's that compared that. Yeah, I was uh -huh. just there. So Ooh, I just, that is heavy. Yes. I went numb. Totally. I, I really can't tell you what was going through my mind at that particular point. Mm. But I went numb. And uh, she talking to me. Like, and you can you? imagine a couple with baby blues that your hormones are just all over. Yes. Then you have to process this kind of news. Exactly. And with someone who's just delivered power and yeah. left. Yeah. It was hard. And I remember I just put back my baby there. And then Nico. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I walked out and the nurses were just looking at me. I walked out and went to my room and I met my mom-in-law, mm. late mom-in-law, and I just cried. I can imagine. I was so confused. I'm like, what? What is happening? Did she know at that point? Yes, because my husband went back to the room oh, okay. and he went and he was like, oh God. And he actually didn't tell them because mm. they were like, what's the problem? Nini, mm. nini, nini. Mm. So me, I came. My mom, my mom in love like, what's the problem? It's okay, it's okay, ni, ni, ni. You know, just trying to comfort me. I just went to my husband. I cried. I can't oh my God, I cried. Yani, you know, I used to, I used to hear people say that sometimes things happen to you and you feel like it's a dream. Yeah, it's a dream. It's an out and of like, body yeah, experience. Yeah, and, and, and you're like, I wish God could. I wish, I wish I could. Someone could just pinch me and you know and say it's, and wake up. it's a dream. Yeah. It's a dream, I'm yeah. You know, yeah. but. It was a reality. Mm -hmm. Hey, me, if I, if I remember, if I remember that particular moment, how the news was broken and I'm like, and I was in denial, but they, I knew very well about Down syndrome, mm. but I was in denial. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. And I kept asking my sister in love, like, hmm, uno nakamu mtuta nakakona Down syndrome. Uno nakamu ispesi ya macho ni kubwa. Like I used to, I was questioning yeah. everything. Yeah. And I went to Google, just the way the doctor told me, good student <laughs> i went to google i went to google i'm googling and you know google the way yeah. google you can be coughing and it tells you have a bola google gives you yeah. my gonjo that i'm not even there yeah so you just google signs and symptoms of signs of down, down syndrome, syndrome. Uh -huh. the things you see hey i'm like oh my god what are these mm. hey i cried yeah <laughs> So, um, from what I understand, mm -hmm. a baby with Down syndrome has other complications. Yeah. Were there any complications like that he had now? No. Mm -hmm. Well, um, like heart issues or I think thyroid issues. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Were there any that probably uh, led him to be in Niku? Or how did they explain yes. that he's in he's Niku? In Niku. Yeah. Um, now, um, with Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. We, they normally have some um, heart defects mm -hmm. and um, lung, mm. lung issues among the many, many issues. Mm. So for my son, his lung pressures were high. Mm -hmm. So um, what the information we were given, he's at Nico because of his lung pressures. And then again, he couldn't breathe on his own. Mm. And I remember asking the doctor, so how long is he going to be here? But we don't know. We don't know the time his oxygen levels he can breathe on his own mm. you're going to allow him win him off mm. oxygen but sometimes you can be on oxygen even up to a month i'm like what are you telling me a month to do what what is he doing what is he doing in the hospital for a, a month? month this is not something you prepare um, for yeah i was not prepared for that mm. so the reason why he was there was those two reasons and then oh he and they had said he had a heart defect he had mm -hmm. a hole in the heart. Mm -hmm. Two holes. One of it, like, you can actually live on. It closes with time. Mm. And the other one, you can pretty live a normal life. Mm -hmm. So um, my, my baby was on medication. He, I was discharged after five days, five days after delivery. Mm. And, but I left him in hospital for additional five, five days. Let me just ask, how is that feeling? Because I think it's one of the things we probably take for granted. But I remember... Like having a sigh when you live with the baby in hospital. How is that feeling of now you have to leave your baby and you, you are discharged? Hey, it was hard. 
and you know if it's not even what makes it worse is um i was in a private room mm. but what makes it worse is that you hear moms next to you having their baby next to them to mm, their bed you hear right. babies cry mm. and you you can't have your baby cry there and by that's when i realized it's not automatic that you give birth and your baby's next to you that's true that's so true. um again leaving hospital mm. you've already been told you have a special needs child mm. yeah so you again you're leaving the maternity ward and you're seeing other moms being discharged with their kids and all the excitement mm. but you you're living you do you living without your kid mm. and not just until your kid is somewhere like your kid is in niku mm. so it was it, it it was a very bad feeling and mm -hmm. to be honest i didn't know whether to be happy you don't know or to be sad i don't know but but i i thank god for my late mom in love because mm. she she took me through because she was with me throughout that mm. whole time i can imagine hey yeah it was, hey, it was you really hard. have to have a strong support a strong system. support system and mm. you know you sleep you wake up mm. and the baby's not there and you're like hey, so, so you so have to you had to go to hospital yeah every day? I, yeah yes yes i had to go to hospital every day because i needed to pump milk so you and pump you live there yes i pump milk and take it to and take it to to the doctors yeah and then I also needed to breastfeed him. Yeah. So yeah. I would go change into the um, hospital robes and go and breastfeed him. I used to go every single day. I'd spend literally a whole day yeah, in hospital. Definitely. Yeah. How is breastfeeding for you? Because um, one key thing is if you're stressed, then milk is low. How was that, that journey for you? Mm. Or, or you didn't struggle with it? And for, fortunately, fortunately I, I had yeah. lots of milk. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't have major issue i didn't have issues with milk that's really yeah nice good. god took that out of your yes, god, problems yes, yes. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah i didn't have issue with milk uh -huh. at all so mm. yeah i used to go back and maybe you food. can also let us in on the different kind of emotions you're going through because i don't want to imagine how every day is especially with the baby in the hospital you're out what what kind of emotions are you going through or just how is your mental state through through it all now, when it came to going back and forth, mm. honestly, I was mad. Mm -hmm. I was mad. I was mad at God. Mm. I was mad. I was disappointed. I was confused. I was heartbroken. I can imagine. But majorly, I was mad. Mm -hmm. I remember I kept asking God, Aki God, Aki why? Why me? Mm. What, what, like, what, what happened? Why me? I remember mm. I, kept ask, I kept on asking that. And um, I remember... When we were still, when I was still in the hospital, mm. when my parents came to see me, I remember when I just saw my dad, I was like, Aki, daddy, just pray for me. Mm. And I was like, I only need, I need you to pray for me and just help me get strength. Mm. That's all I wanted. Mm. Because I felt so weak. I just needed strength mm. to move on. And yeah, so dad prayed for us. And somehow I, I felt relieved. Mm. I felt relieved. And I remember I remember I kept on saying, Sasa, okay, Sawa, God, okay, mm. so need do. Mm. Now that you've given me this child, no, give me a solution. Mm. Because mm. with Downs, you need to have therapy, you need to have, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you need to do all that. So I'm like, yeah, tell me what to do. Show me. Yeah, show mm. me. Show mm. me. Mm. And I don't know, majorly I was mad and interestingly, I still used to pray. That's interesting, but you just you're just saying how your feelings are. Interesting. I used yeah. to pray and and I used to pray. Like funny enough, when people were in there, I would laugh, make jokes. We make jokes about my labor. You know, mm -hmm. me and my husband are talking about. We telling people. He's like, hey, me sit away in labor mm. ni vitu ni mm. You know, mm. so we were joking about it. But the moment people left, the I'm reality. like, the reality, mm. the reality is there. I'm like, oh God, and. I used to cry. I just used to cry and I would pray. Mm. Maggie, all I used to pray for was strength. Mm -hmm. I just, all, I'm like, strength too, just, just give me that. Mm. And, and grace. Mm. And you know, for so long, I, I used to hear and I used to tell people whenever they were going something difficult, mm. I tell them, may God give you grace that surpasses your understanding. Mm. I used to say that when you lose a loved one, I'd tell you that. Mm. But this time, 
I truly understood the meaning of mm. God giving you grace that surpasses your understanding because mm. I felt that. Because mm. you needed it. I needed it. Mm. I felt it like to the core. I'm like, I got that grace. Mm. And yeah, but so in, in and out, there was a time I, I, I would pray. I would pray without being distracted. Mm. There was a time I'd be mad and be like, but they God, why? I'd go back and snap and be, why now? What do I do? How, where do I start? Mm. And what would make it more difficult was that apart from having downs, he also has other complications that come with downs. Yeah. And you're, you're, you're being told and you're being told of the things you need to do. And I don't know, it was... It's a lot. It's, it's just a lot. a lot to put together and you're healing from us, yes. Yes, and I'm healing from us, yes. And then hey. you're every day on the... It's a every lot. Day, every day, yeah, it's a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. Hey. So he stayed in hospital for how long? For 10 days. Mm -hmm. and, and now he was on medication, mm -hmm. which of course the nurses were administering at medication. Mm -hmm. And he was on five different medications. A small baby. A small baby, you're giving them medication. He had reflux. And you need to give them medication using a syringe, but they're refluxing it. Ah, how is it like being told now you're free to go? Did you feel, because most people feel, okay, I'm just baby girl. Why, have, why, why are you trusting me with a whole human yeah, being? Yeah. Now you, you, you're being given your baby who's also thick and you have to take care of them. Were you feeling confident enough at the time you were no. discharged? No, no, because mm. um, I, a part of me wanted him to stay in hospital. Mm. A part of me wanted to go home oh, with him because yeah. I was tired. I'm like, ah, yeah. I'm tired of these trips. Mm. Can we just be done with it? Mm -hmm. And um, the hardest, I, I'd say I had mixed reactions. Mm. And the hardest part for me was the fact that, first of all, I'm a first-time mom. Mm. Then you're a first-time mom, you've been told you have a kid with Downs. Mm. And you've been given five medications that you're supposed to, you've been given, you're told this one you have to give them at 2 a.m. This one is for the heart. This one is for the lung pressure. This one is for the, you know. Your mind is going to yeah, be racing mind, about yeah. everything. I'm still thinking, so how is he going to sleep? What's going what's gonna to yeah. be his sleep schedule? Am I going to wake him up and give him medication? You have to, so, yeah? Yeah, and I remember we were in the car and I was, I was, Yanni, you my mind out. was, I was carrying my baby and my mind was, we were quiet in the car. I didn't know whether to be it's happy. I've been blessed with drive. a child. Yeah. I didn't know if I should be sad. And people, would, my friends would text me, oh my God, congratulations. I'm like, for what? And you don't know how to feel about yeah. it. Yeah, I'm like, for what? For what exactly? For special needs kid? For what exactly? Wow. Yeah, I had all those reactions. And, and you know, I hadn't that. told my friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't something I was talking about. I just said, oh, I'm not going to shed the hat. Oh, oh, he's on oxygen, if you're too. Yeah. But I never went into detail. So I, for so long, I was just blue ticking people. Congratulations, blue tick. Well, cool, a blue tick. I never used to. And they ask, how's baby? Yeah. People never even ask blue how ticking. you are. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's the thing. But they, people never ask you how you are. Yeah. They ask you, how is the baby? Yeah, you know, send me a photo. Yeah. You know, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was. So the journey now, you're home. You start the medical treatment. Yeah. How, how was he responding to it? Um, we had an alarm mm. for that. And you know, with the ex exhaustion after, yeah, after bath and um, waking up, you know, just know the pattern of, of newborns. Mm. So yeah, I used to wake him up and give him medication, but um, I actually suffered from postpartum depression. Definitely. Yeah. So there were times my son would cry, I'd just look at him, wouldn't do anything. Mm. And I would say there are times, to be honest, I never gave him some medications. Because, mm. like, you find a medication is supposed to give him at two. The next medication is a different one at three. And that time he's sleeping. I'm like, so. You need to sleep. Yeah, I need to, I'm like, so I need to wake him up. I'm like, I was, by there I was like, by there, come by and buy. Wow. And I remember my husband used to wake me up. And I'd get so mad. Like, where's mm. Umpe? You know, I was, I was mm. so mad. And, you know, I was feeling like everything around me. I'm like, no one is getting no me. No one is. No one is yeah. getting me. And, yeah, even my own husband, I'm, I was in my mind, I was like, he's not getting me. Yeah. You know. If, if, if you mentioned your husband now. I wanted to, I was so curious to you know, how did this affect your marriage at that time? Because a baby coming into a life already affects the yeah. marriage. Now, how was it? How was that dynamic at that time between the two of you? Most men don't talk about their emotions. Yeah. 
So um, if I'd, I can't really point out to how he was feeling, mm. because to be honest, I was in my own zone. You in your head, like it's I, me, I, I, I was yeah. not concerned about how he was yeah. feeling. Mm -hmm. I was more concerned about I was more concerned about how I was feeling. Mm. Once we got the diagnosis, mm. and he went back to the room. When I was next to him, my husband has a, another child from his mm. previous relationship. Mm. So the first thing that struck my mind when I saw him was like, your first child is typical. Mm. I'm here, your wife. I'm giving you a child with special needs. Mm. So are you going to blame me? Mm. So that was, that was what was going through my mind. But I think he read my mind. Because the mm. first thing he told me was, I need you to know that it is no one's fault. And I'm going to love our son. Mm. And I'm going to do everything possible to my ability mm. to take care of him. That's really nice. And I, w I cried. Where? I hey. cried. Now that yeah. you mentioned those feelings, were there at, at times you felt like you blamed yourself? No. No. Right. That's no, good. No, I didn't. I, I, I think if he never brought that up, mm. I would have felt that mm. way. But... Um, it would have been the unspoken elephant the, uh, in yes, the yes, room. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. But, but what I know for sure is that it really affected him. Mm. It's just that he was not talking about, about it. it yeah but it affected him and anytime he went to work he kept calling me how are you mm. how's nini you know he kept on calling and checking up on me and all that so um mm. it, it definitely was hard for him mm. as much as because it is our child but today you know you know sometimes there are things that happen to you and you thank god you did life with this person mm. at that particular moment I thank God that he was the father of my son. Wow. Because I, I saw the love he had for him, mm. whether he was special or not. Mm. I saw that. And um, I saw how much support he gave me because this is our child. Mm. He also has emotions. Mm. And to date, I don't understand how strong he was. Mm. Because I was something else, to be honest. You were going through Looking something. Looking back, I was yeah. something else. Yeah. But he was supportive throughout. I thank God for supporting. Yeah, husband. he yeah. was supportive pro. Yeah. Yani, I, I sit back. I'm like, hey, mm. yeah, I got it right. You know, I'm yeah. happy. I'm a, I really, I really, my heart warms up when I hear a husband who was very supportive yeah. uh, during that time because it's a very heavy time. It is, and yeah. Now, um, how how is the baby? Um, when do we win him off all these medications, or how is your day to day life? right uh, at that time when he was a baby um um okay not naturally i'm mm. someone who if i have a, a setback mm. i'm someone who i pick up i'm like okay yeah, so this is what we have this is the situation so what do we what do? do we do yeah i'm that kind of a person uh -huh. and so before i left the hospital i was referred to a group down syndrome the kind of down syndrome my mm. son has mm. is called t21 trisomy 21. Mm -hmm. So there's a group called T21. On Facebook? Um, no, it's a WhatsApp group. Oh, yeah, it's oh, on Facebook oh, as well. Oh, oh, but, but it's a WhatsApp group for men to children with Downs. Yeah. So I was given a contact. Um, so when my baby got, actually, when my baby, after one month, we went to a cardiologist. Mm. And me, I just say it's God, because mm. she ruled out, we went for a second opinion. Mm. She ruled out the heart defect. It's a miracle. I'd say it's a miracle. Because mm. you know, with the heart defect, a lot happens. Baby don't die and gain weight. Yeah. You know, the heart yeah. is basically yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. So um, she said it's something to do with the lung pressure that we're making the valves look like oh. they have a hole. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, the lung pressures went down, so the valves were back in position. Mm. Yeah. So um, that was out of our plate. So he was, we stopped giving medication within one month. Wow. And I was That's so happy. Really yeah, living. I'm like, who? I was so happy, and you know, my son's name means a fighter. So I, yeah, so I strongly feel like, yeah, he and was. I came up with that name a week to when he was born. Mm. I feel like he, he is a fighter. Wow. So he, um, within, of course, I had postpartum between our first month to his third month. Mm. Um, when we kept going for checkup, where like he was not adding. Wait. Wait. He would add like 100 grams. Mm. And you've gone to hospital after like two months. That's You're being asked, is he breastfeeding? Yes. I'm like, yeah, he's breastfeeding. But majorly, he had major reflux. Mm. So you're being asked, is he breastfeeding? Yeah, is he good pooping? Yes, and all that. 
But where the red going? My baby was so small. Let me tell you, my baby was small. You see the way you get a newborn and and a comdogo, mm. and time is moving. You're not seeing the flesh because me, I've always known a healthy baby is too no no. Mm. They have rolls on their arms <laughs> and their cheek. Mm. No, that wasn't the case for my yeah, child. Yeah. That wasn't the case for my child. And um, and he was just okay. He was like I used to, for so long. I doubted that he had Downs. Mm. Such that as the third month. We requested for a test. It's called think, cario, cario type. It's called cario type for mm. Downs. It went to South Africa. We requested for that because we were like, I. You were doubting. Yeah, but I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. Downs wapi? Mm -hmm. I miss you any Downs apa. <laughs> you know, I miss you any. Yeah. So basically, that was just being in denial. But mm. um, I joined the group at the third month. After and the test? No, the test, the results were not yet. I was taking about an, um, a month because mm. we were going to South Africa. But. Um, what prompted me to join the group was I was scrolling through social media and I saw a post of a very pretty girl with downs. Mm. Oh, but they squeezy. I can tell. I can tell from afar. Who like on a downs? I can tell. <laughs> you hey. become the downs doctor. Yes, yes. You become a down doctor. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You know, like most people wouldn't tell, mm. but I would. Mm. So anyway, so I saw a, a photo of a, of yeah. a baby, mm. baby girl. And besides the photo, it was written... I know, ma'am, I did not come out the way you expected, but I promise I'll give you so much joy. Gosh. Maggie, that thing, to date, I think of that, I'm like, what? That thing really got to me. Yeah. And at that particular point, I'm like, you know what? I am going to, this is my son. Mm. Downs or not, he's my son, he's the one I have, and I have to give him the best love and care. Yeah. And that's the moment I took the number I was given when I was in hospital, mm. one month, and I called. I'm like, hi, I introduced myself. My son was diagnosed with Down syndrome and all that. Mm. And the lady took me through it. She's like, don't worry, Down syndrome is just a part of him. You're going to join the group and yeah. have the support and all that. Mm. So I joined the group mm. and we were okay. Mm. So, um, I, at least I got out. I, I realized, oh, but I'm not alone. Because mm. the group has so many people. Yeah. Yeah. And I realized I'm not alone. That so support is really, it's really important. It's really, really important. Really yeah. important. Mm. And so I introduced myself and people introduced themselves. Oh, yeah. That's, that, I love so, such a... Uh, yeah. Wow, I'm not in any such yeah. WhatsApp group. And we, 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 we yeah. have a role. Um, when a new mom joins, you post a photo of yourself and mm. your child and you talk about your child, how your child is. Mm. And the other moms introduce themselves, I'm so and so, with a photo. Mm. So I'm seeing the kids. I could see some familiarity mm. with the eyes. Mm. You could see, you could see some, I actually have a son, mm. someone's son who looks exactly like my son. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like... Hiya. Okay, why is yeah. boy looking like my son? Yeah. yeah. And um so the group basically helped. Mm. So I'd say that's what made me snap out, out of, of it. Yeah. That made yeah. me snap out of it. I remember one one statement you made uh, when we were talking about this is once you started seeing him as a person and not just down. <sighs> It was your life-changing moment. Exactly, exactly. Because like, once you hear that this person has this, that's all you see. You condition your mind is conditioned. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And you know, um, once I joined the group, I started therapy, mm. occupational therapy. Mm. So we have for therapy. him, yeah, yes, for him. Mm. So we have an occupational therapist coming home mm. to do the therapy for him mm. three times a week. Is it? To, to date? Yeah, to date. Oh. Yeah, to date it happens. How is he responding? He's great. Oh my God. Mm. Anyway, we'll get... Oh my... <laughs> my <Mina. laughs> He's doing great. Yeah, that's, <laughs> He's doing it's, great. Nice, it's nice to hear that. Yeah. Um, now, I, I wanted to ask you... There's a conversation we had on DM and you actually didn't know when I was talking about milestones mm -hmm. when uh, I posted something about what my baby had done and then a mother was worried about their baby taking mm -hmm. time and you responded and you said if people only knew, people knew how annoying it is to keep asking you, how is that journey for you now that your baby had downs and that comes with a bit of delay? Um, okay, I'll be honest, I was one of those people. Which one? Hey, Ajatembe? Before you became I, a mama? Yeah, to be honest, I was those kind of people. <laughs> hey, Ajatembe? Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, but right now, 
Mm. You asked me that, mm. be ready for an answer. Like, <laughs> be ready. Because yeah. initially, like, people would ask, and okay, you know, with Downs, mm. um, they tend to have, most of them tend to have um, heavy tongue. Mm. The tongues are longer than usual. Mm -hmm. So it, it um, sticks out most mm. of the time. Mm. Or they have a habit of leaving their mouth open because mm. of the tongue. And that's something my son has. To date, I'm trying to stop him from mm. leaving his mouth open every other time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. so um, yeah. I, I'd have that question. Mm. A lot. Yeah. Mm. But okay, well, it started later on because um, I never used to step out with my baby. Mm. I never allowed people to come see me because I didn't want people to, to see. Asking. I thought that if someone comes, they'd be like, eh, mm. you know, yeah. I, I, I didn't want that because because for so long, like I told you, for so long, I was seeing Down syndrome. Mm. That's all I was seeing. Yeah. Mm. So, but the moment I accepted and the therapy started going on, mm. and because the therapy is basically for them to meet the milestones. Mm. So, um, yeah, I've had people ask me, oh, mm. what are you doing? What are you Initially, I would be get, get so angry and mm. respond very rudely. Mm. But to date, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, mm. and... Today I'm like, nowadays I'm like, Kwani, it's okay. Siniwango, mm, niwako, it's mm. okay. What the problem? It's mine. You really How are you bothered him, about eh? my son not walking yeah. or eating? How is that your problem? Yeah, you know? yeah. Because me, I know. You, you understand. I understand. Yeah. I understand. So when I see people talking about asking those questions, I'm like, mm. I wish people could stop doing that. I think people don't know. People don't know that. I didn't know. Yeah. I was that person. Until, I didn't know. Until and it, get, it's really yeah. heartbreaking, but I think mm. because it's something that people will always say. Yeah. You it's can't no, it just it. comes out. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes it's not coming from a bad place. Yeah. You know, it, it comes out. So you just need to, it's a you issue. You yeah. need to deal with it. You how you're gonna handle it. If mm. they're gonna be asking such questions, mm. you know, and it doesn't do you any good if you answer rudely mm. and what, you know, it doesn't doesn't do anything to you. So what are some of those qualities or uh, personalities you've seen in him that you now love, that oh you, you notice and oh you're gosh. like, wow. And something I notice and most people tell me, mm. his mood. He has a way of brightening the mood. Wow. Mm. And I don't know, if you Google, they'll tell you um, kids with Down syndrome. And it's never a Down syndrome kid. It's mm. a kid first. Then with Down syndrome, it's mm. another part of him. Mm. You don't say a, a Down, Down syndrome, syndrome kid. kid. What's a Down yeah, syndrome baby. kid? Yeah. yeah, it's a child with Down syndrome. And mm. we don't, my son does not suffer from Down syndrome. It's mm. not a sickness. Mm -hmm. It's not a condition. Mm. You see, it's mm. just extra chromosome, mm. no mm. big deal. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I see people say that kids with Down syndrome have, are always happy. Mm. No, they're not always happy. They have unique personality, just like Any everybody else. Kid, yeah, they yeah. have, they have their own personalities. Mm. So, f but for my son, he he loves smiling. That's something from the moment he learned how to smile. And you know, once you have a special needs child, you learn to appreciate all the milestones, all the small, the small little things, things you yeah. take for granted, like your child grasping onto something. You playing with a toy on top of your child and they are excited and they want to pull it. Yeah. And your child first smile. Sitting. It is not automatic. Mm. With Downs, the muscles are affected. Mm. And smiling is a muscle. Mm. So some, he used to cry. Wow. Yes, and he used to cry. But you're looking at his face, you're like, this guy crying. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious I, about yes, crying? Yeah, he's serious about crying. And remember joking about with my husband, like, okay. like he would cry, but it doesn't look like someone who's crying. Because mm -hmm. that, all that is muscle. I never thought about yeah. it like that. And, and I didn't know mm. until I got him. Yeah. And even smiling, that is my, like he was basically just there. He was just there, yeah, you know. Yeah. He was just there. But slowly by slowly with the therapy, I could see he would sense, his sensory got better. He would follow a toy. Mm. He would want to grab it. You know, he, when he started smiling at four months. Wow. Five months. Yes, five months. See, you're excited. Huh? Because me, I also waited for my baby to I smile. I was so <laughs> excited when I started smiling. I'm like, oh my God. And it was such a big deal to yeah. me. It's such a big deal to me because, because of how you understood how what I understood it takes how that. everything yeah. happens with the, you know, I yeah. don't know. And you know, like most kids with Down have this are called palmar crisis. Mm. They have one. Yeah. 
and this palma crystal something as simple as i've never known yes mm. it's it's just across just one mm -hmm. one line mm. so for and these palma crystals help John, they do it, they do it's yeah. it's not madoido oh it's not madoido <laughs> it's, no. not, yeah. it's not so I, I i don't know if that's the reason why because they tend to have motor mm. motor skill the motor skills are not as great oh, okay yeah. yeah so i i got to appreciate the little little milestone mm. like he can actually make a sound <laughs> he can actually i i appreciate every single thing mm. him touching his head i'm like Gaya na shika kichwa. Gaya na, you know as in because I, I think also for me i never thought he would do something wow so you like gave up on yeah because no joke shambi o google na vitu google ina kwambia seriously you just know that your son is yeah yeah you mm. got to and so when he did this thing i was i was so excited, excited. so yeah so the therapy i can say it helped him and i'm so happy that i got to do occupational therapy mm. as early as three months mm. yeah so we All started the way at, to now yes we yeah. started at three months and with that started having the head control because mm. you know by a certain month a child needs to okay. sit i actually yeah. don't know at what point mm. at what age a child need to sit up right because for me it was different mm. so i can't tell you a tcg because he didn't do that at that time but, but it's control. good that you also just accepted and you were going exactly. with his face. Exactly. That's why you actually don't know. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. I think that's the thing. The moment I accepted, mm. to be honest, I totally surrendered that to God. That's I was like, nice. hey, God, I have this. Mm. Please just give us the resources to take care of him mm. and guide us mm. on taking care of him. And he came through. And he came through. Because me, me, nowadays, if you ask me, I'll tell you, we're all children of God. Yeah. He's just entrusted you to take care of this little one mm. that's exactly what he did ha, was there anything outstanding dif outstandingly difficult about now your journey to motherhood for example would you trust anyone else to take care of your baby was that an issue for you on the way you've totally surrendered you were able to cope i was able to cope because um by the resources god gave me mm. i think that again came in form of my nanny Mm. that was my first nanny oh yeah she loved him so much and i had the fear being first of all being a first time mom mm. i had the fears of um will he be able to do this but she kept on telling me ah nini atafanya mbona asifanye mtoto ana shida ebu you know she would that was god sent yeah she was i don't know she was and she was my age mate by mm. the way oh yeah she was my age mate but she had a child as well mm. so she was really there and sometimes she would see that i would be frustrated like i'd zone out and she would take the baby mm. and you know so i god enabled me to trust her oh, and even god sent her yes god sent her yeah and god enabled me to trust her because i knew how she was god sent because even when sense. we were starting to win my child with downs um the normal some of them have a peg mm. on the stomach mm -hmm. so they fit through the peg mm -hmm yeah so it's too much reflux and all that mm -hmm. and then um so they have um the peg for them to feed so that was my concern mm. i was like okay so probably my son is gonna need, need this when peg, i start yeah. winning him so i was so scared i'm like guy, okay, okay, you know i had all that all those, yeah. and you know when i started winning him he he started gaining weight wow you she didn't need a peg Wow. He didn't eat a peg. Like he used to eat. Let me tell you today, my son eats anything. Make up on Duma, Twende. Make a samaki, Twende. You know, <laughs> yeah. the thing, you know, why I'm saying, why is that? Probably someone would wonder why is it a big deal. It's mm. food. Mm. But again, I mentioned it is all about the muscle. Yeah. Swallowing is a is muscle. A muscle. <laughs> Moving your teeth is a muscle. And when they have low muscle tone, they can't do that. Mm. They can't do that. Chances of choking are higher. Ch yes. Chances yeah. of choking are high, swallowing heavy food, and they have so much hypersensitivity. Mm. For my son, it was on the head. Mm. So, you know, someone would just think that attack it to kwa kichwa, but the sensitivity is too high. Mm. They have sensitivity on the tongue and as well as the feet. Mm -hmm. So, by the tongue, um, with the tongue, if you give them food of different particles, like it's really, it's really hard for them. Mm. Yeah. So those were some of my fears, the hypersensitivity mm. on the mouth. Those are some of my fears. Mm. So, um, so luckily for me, of course, I started winning with blended. 
mm. fruits and all that and he la- from the beginning I'm just going to cooler by the way let me tell you <laughs> I'm like, yeah. eh, baby, you can't shimu kwa tumbo. You can't. That's really nice. That voice yes, is it's really guy. nice. Guy. Yeah. Guy. And mm. anyway, watch a cool guy. Yeah. Yakitaka sa cool. Give him. He Give cool. Him. Cool. Yeah. 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 So um, for him, he he started when I went started going for clinics, yeah. and you know now I was really babying him like, guy, even when he's going oh, for yeah. vaccine. Guy, aki woye, aki se atalio, aki woye. Ninja. <laughs> He's a all fighter. The, all the uh, vaccine. I smooth. never got fever. Nothing. Wow. Nothing. Like, hey, he's been okay. I'm a dungwa. Even by the time you remove the needle, he's back to business. Wow. Like, he's good. So I think I was really babying him and what the, the expectations I had. Yeah. But I thank God for that expectation. Cause <laughs> yeah, it helps you manage. Yeah, it helped me. And, and I think I, I just decided to take a day at a time mm. because i used to follow the group i would see moms talk about their journey mm. but I, to be honest i stopped following it mm. like totally because i said let me live a day at a time mm. because if i start comparing because to be honest i had those days i was comparing mm. i would look at a child i'm like oh okay the same age as my son my son mm. doesn't have head control mm. oh he can't sit on his own and all that yeah so but I, I guess the fact that I surrendered, I was I was confident mm. leaving him with the, the money. Because mm. remember, I'm employed. Mm. But um, you have to go to work. I had to go to work. But good thing for me, I actually stayed with my son for almost a year because it's a three month maternity leave, and then I had my leave days, mm. additional three months. Ah, that's good. Additional actually one and a half months. So that was he was four and a half months, and then after that. We had flexi working hours, so I was to go to work at around 9 a.m. Mm. and leave at 2 p.m. Mm. So between 9 and 2 p.m. is such a short time, and I trusted my nanny. Mm. Mm. And by the time I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to go back to work fully. COVID happened, so me, you me, I was cool. Home. I was cool with the curfew. Ah. Cool, me, serve me. So me, I stayed with my baby. To be honest, I really believe like God makes things work out. I, without I us so seeing too. the whole picture, yes. now you can look back and you yes. can see and yeah, things work. Yeah, things really, work. really, really yeah, well. And I, I said, I'm like, whether God answered my prayer. Yeah. Every single thing I asked from Him, mm. He gave them to me. But I came to learn. I came to. I came to. You know. You know. I when I used to ask myself why me, mm. but. Later on, I started seeing my I started seeing my son, and not Down syndrome. Mm. Then I told myself, "Why not me? Mm. You know, me I'm busy acting God way. So why should it happen to God? Why should it happen to someone, to else? someone else? And not uh. you? Can you walk on an enemy? Yeah. So I thought, that's that's very deep. That's yeah. very deep because I have gotten to a point where I was asking myself, asking God, why me? Why yeah. me? Then he, you hear, because why not you? Yeah. Why not? You're fully equipped yes. to handle yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, whether why not me? Yeah. Why not me? Yeah. And and at that time, from the day my son was born, well, I'm a Christian, but from the day my son was born, I was more aware mm. of God, like more. Because to be honest, me, Kasi, yeah, yeah, me, Sijui. Mm. Because the the, th- the thing, the exact same thing I prayed for, things were just made possible. And mm. I, nowadays I believe if you've been given a challenge mm. or something, if you just surrender to God, somehow mm. it will work. Yeah. I can't tell you. How do I, how do I survive? Like, how do I, how am I mm. doing? How do I get to trust a nanny and go to work and have a special needs you kid? You don't know. I can't answer you. It's God. It's just God. And for me, for me, God made me closer to my husband. Because mm. you know this thing, it's either it makes you as a couple. It breaks you. It breaks you. Yeah. For us, it made us closer. Mm. And hey, me and other need to know your God. Now you're supporting any lipata. And then again, you know, your family will always support you. Mm. Your mom, your own mom will always support you. But about the other side, you're never sure. You're never sure. But I got this support any i felt the love and the support and i never felt anyone ever blamed me that's really nice i never felt that my mom in love every time i call her but i just tell her me sawa hey you know she began at a tembea no so i i felt good about it i felt good about you really it. need that support system <sighs> i really need you it. really need that support. hey me did, did, i'm did, just grateful yeah did mm. this experience like make you fear to have another child oh yes uh-huh Hey, 
Hmm. You suppose I think after giving birth, you suppose on your sixth week. week. Yeah. Yeah. When you go and you're being told about contraceptives, first of all, I was like, I do not even want to hear. Mm. What I went through with pregnancy <laughs> labor, and then you're telling me about, well, leave me alone. I'm not going to get pregnant. Uh, leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, eh. Then again, I sat down. I'm like, I really need this. Mm. Am I ready for another child? No. The thought of people get, people, when you're in the labor world, you get scared of getting another child because of the pain. Mm. Once the baby comes, you get scared of getting another child because of the baby blues and then new mom mm. and, you know, and mm. all that. But for me, it was different. Mm. Because I've had a special needs child. I'm like, okay, God, you've given me a special needs child. Aki matosha, I'm stuck in Mungine. As in, imagine you sour. I'm not mm. complaining. I'm okay. Mm. You know, so that was my fear. Mm. That was my fear for so long. Hey, for so long. Whether your fear is You managed to overcome it. Yes, I, I, yes, I managed to overcome it. I don't know how. God. I don't know how. I yeah. God. And yeah. also the group, I kept on asking, mom, guy, like, is that... A, a probability chance, yeah. of having another child with special needs. I remember that lady told me, why are you worried of having another child? What's the problem with having another child with special needs? Yeah. If you're managing one, what's the problem with having another one? I should like, stop keeping that in your mind. Mm. If you want to have another child, pray to God to give, to remove that from your head and just pray to him to give you a healthy child. Yeah. Period. Yeah. And stop thinking about That's it. That's deep. Yeah. So I, I, I surrendered. I'm like, I live a yeah. So I, I, yeah, I, I, I surrendered. And also, it got to a point where I'm like, but it's not that bad. Mm. <laughs> it's not that bad. Cause yeah. The first time it was hard because you don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah. The fear of the unknown. Mm. But with the time, I'm like, and the thing for me is also because, yes, you have down, but you've not had challenges. Yeah. Down immunity is normally low. Yeah, yeah. My son rarely gets sick. Miss, but they, Miss Johnny Ninja, me, I don't understand. Maka sometimes they're like, we, we ask ourselves, I'm just talking about down school. You still ask yourself. Yeah, we, to date. <laughs> to date. He just turned two. Oh. He just yeah, turned October third. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. He just turned two. Mm. And to date we're asking ourselves. Does he really? Because he rarely gets when people are having you flu do well, yeah, I may can't relate. Wow. I can't relate. Do you have I don't know which dawa in your cabinet? Do you you know, when you become a mom, you know all the dawas. You have a chemist in the house. You was scalpel because of fever and vaccines. Yeah. And um, such as in, because of a cold. Yeah. Full stop. My son, I can tell you, ever since he was born, we've, he's become sick. Like, we've gone to hospital. And I would stick, like, tummy, tummy issues mm -hmm. twice. Mm. He's never gotten Two sick. Two years. Yeah, he's never gotten sick. Wow. He just had the usual cold. To no matter such as in. We move. He's never had those major things I was reading about. Mm. No. And we thank God for that. Aki, it's a blessing. I think that's why he's called Nolan means a fighter. Yeah. I think I, for sure he is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure uh, because we've not had, and I thank God because the things I see on the group, mm. people, people go for ha open heart surgeries. Yeah. Hey, the, the issue of the thyroid, because again, you know, when they're born, they're done for so many tests. Mm. Um, the, if you have abnormalities of your red blood, of the cells and mm. all that. Mm -hmm. So for us, we pass that. Because they also have impaired visions. Mm. I don't know if you've noticed, most of them, not most, but there are those who wear glasses. Very young mm. kids, but they're wearing glasses. Mm. So there is normally something, I think something to do with the refraction or something. I can't say much about it because I have not experienced it. But there's that. There's thyroid, okay, there's so much. And you know, with thyroid, we have the issues of weight gain mm. so for us the issue mm. was he was not gaining weight but the mo and he was feeding mm. the reflux ended but the moment we started winning him like i mentioned he started eating he was good that's really nice he eats so Aki. two years later where is he hey How two years he? later he is terrorizing us <laughs> he's just eh? like a regular terrible hey, team. <laughs> yeah and in, yeah and he he's he started he started walking mm -hmm. he would walk with things at about one year, three months, just walk with things, walk with wow. things. Wow! Yeah. yeah. One year, three months. And um, of course, I have this people who didn't know about them. They'd be like, um, you know, that's what people say. <laughs> <laughs> but um, for him, he started walking without walking without support mm. at 15 weeks. Wow. For 15, 16 15 months. Six, 16 months, sorry. Yeah. 16. 
16 months. Which, for me, it's kawaida. That's a, a normal read. It's a, yes. So when I looked at the chart, I'm like, because remember, I used to pray to God, like, okay, God, I, I, I pray that he gets to meet his milestone. Mm. And I pray that by the time he's celebrating his second birthday, mm. he's working. Because I've seen most of them work at two years, mm -hmm. two and a half, mm. Kwendelea. And by 16, 18 weeks, 16 months, 16 months, yeah. he was working. Of course, he's yeah yeah but he was walking yeah thing is, big he was walking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to get now his two years eh, where walking all over now walking all over and you know the interesting thing is there are people say that when you have a child you're sleep deprived because mm. your child you wakes up I didn't have that. I, I'm like, ah, like, I see you talking about just sleep training. <laughs> eh, I can't relate. <laughs> I can't relate. <laughs> you know, I God gives you God problems you can handle. Eh, <laughs> me, okay, I think God spared me. Because yeah. for me, at three months, my son was sleeping at 9 p.m. all the way to 7 p.m. Mm. I used to waking up katikati to breastfeed him. He's sleeping on my boob. It's just like I need to and sleep. And he's okay, <laughs> like I need to sleep. My son, from three months, so I've never had an issue to date. Mm. Just put him to bed. That's like really nice. There. He just sleeps. So, he, I could, I'd say that he was a very calm baby. Yeah, that's he one was. the first thing I he actually noticed was. about. He was, he, he, he was, yes. <laughs> yes. he was a calm baby. He, he was, and he was like, he, no. even, even when the, na the nannies who've come, eh, <laughs> nannies, the nannies who've come, <laughs> they would say, I came to talk on a man and I'm like, mm. because he laughed, he just loved laughing. I can no one laughs at everything and uh, this is bubbly. People, yeah, yeah, he's a very bubbly baby. He does not choose food. He's a good feeder. He's good a sleeper. good sleeper. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> <laughs> he's a very calm baby. Yeah. And but he just loves you playing with them. Mm. And that's just, that's just totally like, baby. Yeah. Yeah. So to date, hey. Take he's everywhere. Two, I used it. to pray to God to help him walk. Now, Nolan, move. Nolan, talk her. <laughs> Nolan. <laughs> ah, move. Hey, it's a it's storm, really but nice baby to hear to yeah, hear this. Yeah. 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 So right now what I'm looking for is mm. speech. Oh. Yes. Okay. So um mm. by therapy you do occupational therapy. To meet the milestones like walking, jumping, and mm. and all that, and you know, okay, walking has a lot because yeah, they could walk, but you coordination, know, stability, yeah, stability, mm. stability is another thing. So then, still working on that, because mm. mm, sometimes he walks like he's running, mm. and you know, you see the way you when you're walking down a hill, is it gravity or what? It just pushes you down, <laughs> like yeah. men that yeah. do, you yeah. know. Yeah. That's that's exactly like for him. Mm. He can't, because I used to feel like, why is this guy rushing? Mm. So my therapist told me, it's something he's working on, stability. He oh. can't, his mind cannot be able to tell him, walk slowly, oh. just, you know. So okay. he's, sometimes he will walk slowly and, you know, mm. sometimes he's running. He's mm. not running, he's, I can't explain. I, like, I, I, end I, I, I get it though, like, but I end up mm. And I'm, so I'm like, guy, no, learn slowly, yeah. you know. Yeah. So of course with that, there have been accidents here and there. <laughs> boys. Mm. Boys. <laughs> So yeah, so right now, I'd say we are good. I'd say if I look at the chart that they give, I'd say we are within the range. Mm. Yeah, only that when you go for stuff like vaccine and all that, people are like, um, so he's not talking. And then you have those few pediatricians who will notice that mm. your your child has Down syndrome. Mm. Yeah, there are those pediatricians. There are those who probably won't, you know, and mm. all that. Yeah, mm. yeah. So. Every year you're supposed to go back for a checkup. Mm. All the audiology, um, eyesight, Everything. thyroid. Mm. Yeah. Every year you're supposed to do that. So we are yet to do that for the second year. Oh, but yeah. I'm very I'm very happy to hear yeah. it's just progressing beyond yeah. what I mean, was so expected. Grateful. It's really I'm, I'm so grateful. Really and I nice. remember when um, I was going for the third checkup checkup mm. at the cardiologist, mm. I saw a girl on a stroller mm. she seemed to be about five years old and being on a stroller and her legs she looked like she had low muscle tones because her legs were quite floppy mm. and i saw her and when she lifted her head up i'm like oh i was so excited oh, mm. that's so mm. yeah. i was so excited like seeing someone, someone. and mm. yeah and i could see the mom kept on looking at my son mm. 
kept, and then I'm like, of course she's looking at him, and it's like, yeah, oh, like my daughter, you mm. know. But she kept on looking at me. So when I stepped out, my nanny was with my son. Mm. So my son finished taking his yogurt on the stroller and went back to sleep. So um, my nanny, but then my son sleeps everywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> really, he barely sleeps. Where? You are more than a binguni mrudi just like me. Nah, oh, kwa you apo. sleep like hey, that. Sleep. Hey, mm. you, can, you can even come and steal my yoga and then I'm asleep. <laughs> yani, yeah, yeah, I'm asleep. Deep. I go. Ah, yeah. Give us some of that. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, my... Nanny. I, I, my, when I came back, Actually, when we were going home, my nanny told me the mom asked her what my son was doing there. Mm. At him, mom, it's like on Adam syndrome. Yeah. Like she couldn't understand what my son was doing there because people who are going to their cardiologist, the issue is the heart. Mm. And with the heart, and if it's kids, it's a ped pediatric cardiologist. Mm -hmm. And with the heart, you can see like weight gain. You know, mm. like it's like when it comes to eating, it affects so much. But you could see my son is okay. Anna's just shortness of breath. Wow. He's all over. He's drinking yoga. So that was what was. She was trying to wonder why. Why am I coming to a, like? Where is the problem? Yeah. <laughs> that time I felt so grateful. I know. I was reminded that you need to be grateful yeah. that you your son is 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 not having those issues. Yeah, those issues. Yeah. And I became more grateful, and I just wish I could speak to her, because mm. her child was older than mine. Because that time my son was almost one year, mm. and I could I, I wish I could just speak to her and just let her know that it gets better. It gets yeah. It it gets better. You know when someone else tells you, because even me people used to tell me, mm. don't worry, it's just it's your child, it gets better. I'm like, what do you know about a special needs child? Yeah, you want why to hear you, it from someone. Why are you someone? telling me it gets better? What do you know? Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I never, I, ne I would not understand, I wouldn't take that from someone who has a typical child because I feel like, you know, and my struggles it and the struggles not. of a mom with a typical child mm. are totally different. Totally different. Yeah, totally different. So it's actually good that you mentioned you wish you talked to her. I think this is your chance to talk to her and yeah. people going through the same difficulties. What would you advice a new mom going through this journey and feeling how you felt at the beginning confused and a lot of anger what would you tell that mom um i would say mm. that it gets better for sure it gets better and if mm. someone tells you that at that particular point you wouldn't at that particular point you wouldn't understand mm. You wouldn't understand given the situation the circumstance mm. but i want to tell you that it do it does get better mm -hmm. the first time is very hard to be honest it's very hard and in, yes i have a special needs child with downs and you probably have a, a special needs child with any other condition but um how do i put it but our journeys are different mm. Even the man with children with special with, with Downs, their journeys are still different. Like I said, for me, my son never had, doesn't have major issues, stuff to do with um, thyroid, things to do with the heart. He doesn't have that. And probably someone else or your child has that. So again, you can't compare the two because at the end of the day, yes, they have Downs, but they are individuals with their own personalities and all that. And even you as a mom, you have your own journey. And it does get better. And whatever you need to do to make things better uh -huh. and to help your child, please do it. Because I've come to learn that all the, all, all, all the kids' needs, it's just love, uh -huh. more attention as compared to a typical child, and care. Really, that's the least you can do for your child. So um, right now, I, I look back and think of how I used to cry. And I ask myself, why were you crying? Because the joy he gives me is too much. Yeah. Like I get so excited getting home to see him. And I, I've gotten to be more patient and to appreciate the small thing. So again, you learn. These people unify people. You learn. You learn to appreciate the little things and... And that does something to you as an individual. 
and as a mom. So by the way, it gets better. Mm. It doesn't matter how long it takes, but it gets better. And you need to remember that you're not alone. There's so many women out here with special need kids and they don't talk about it. So it gets better. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. For sharing your experience yeah. with us. Thank you so much. I believe we have, I have learned even more than when I met you. Mm -hmm. And I believe someone in the audience has okay. probably caught, uh, learned something from this mm -hmm. video. So I thank you so much for making time <laughs> and sharing your journey with us. And uh, that wraps up our session today. Thank you for watching. If you do have a comment uh, for our guest today or just in general, please leave it in the comment section. Let's keep it loving. Let's keep it encouraging. And I do appreciate any feedback that you give on this segment. Until next time, please stay safe and stay cool. Bye. <laughs>